my project is about seeing if the media coming from China can give us any clues into the government of China's intentions. Um, so the media there is a state-run media, and if it's not directly state-run, it's monitored by the state. We're going to look at the what, what they're covering and with what emotional tone they're covering it and see if we can get an idea of what the government's interested in and what they're not interested in around the world. We were looking outside of China, so we were looking at Chinese coverage of events outside of China in English. I was mainly the facilitator in terms of um, making the data set accessible by, uh, for the researchers, uh, providing guidance on uh, the, the software tools to be able to access that data and uh, anal analyze the data and then you know present the data. I did get to learn a lot about uh, the GDELT database, it, the, the GDELT data itself, and some of the its uh, ability to harness that for you know, like geopolitical analyses. So that's most of where the new information came from for me. The big takeaway from this project was just being able to see how uh, China's uh, Xinhua News uh, is reporting on events compared to how the rest of the world is is reporting on these same events like the huge disparity in the way that uh, Xinhua reports on an event versus how the West re reports on it. The summer was get a great starting point for understanding how to work with the data um, because we, we were the first ones, you know, the first students to work on this you know, type of project together and there was no, we didn't really have anyone to ask like, oh, you know, I'm stuck, how do I answer this? Why is this running so slow? Why can't I get an answer for this? I think from Chris and Sebastian, one of the main things they learned is that they can create something. Like, they really took that project. I gave them questions, and, I gave, and then when they ran into problems, I gave them some ways to think about it, and I asked them to f figure it out. And that, if, and that I want to know why they chose something, but not in a way that questions them exactly, but just... Um, that if they can support why they did something, then try it. Um, so now that we have, you know, we've done this project and we've worked with the data and we, we know what to expect, we know the flaws with GDELT, we know how GDELT works, it's, it would be a whole lot easier for someone to get started after us to expand on what we've done because we've answered all these questions, we've done all this work. What, what we did was provide a really solid foundation at least for, you know, more projects in the similar vein, as well as you know, provide this, this data and information. So there's more and more information available that, as an economist, it's, I know it's sitting there, but I can't really get to it because I don't really have the skills. So um, it's great to be able to access it through the hands of a computer scientist. <laughs>